Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis, and as you can see, we're looking at Jennifer Capriati's Tennis, published in 1992 by Telenet Japan, and then was published a couple of years later in 1994. I think originally it was called the Tennis Tournament Grand Slam, but in times of when it was re-released, it was called Jennifer Capriati's Tennis. So, a number of options here, exhibition, circuits, or training. Uh, there's customise as well, where you can change the look of your player, including race, gender, and and the clothes they wear. There's singles and doubles options. We're going to be Jennifer Capriati. Um, yes, I think she was number one, wasn't she? There's Monica Sellers number two, but we'll do an exhibition game against, um, well, whoever's the worst ranked. Who's the worst ranked here? Cymat. Right, we'll try her. She's got a baseline play. There's four different courts. Oops, I pressed that a bit too heavy. Four different courts, indoor, clay and grass. So three different courts. Nick, you're mucked up there. In tournament mode, you play all across the world. Now, generally in tennis games, I am rubbish. I'm down the bottom here, but we'll just see how it plays. First time I've ever played it. Whoops. Right, so you've got the three buttons. I think C is to lob it. Whoops. But you have to time it just right, so I'm probably going to get beat six love here. We're just going to play one set. Oh, no. Love 30. Good speech in this one. It's not too bad. Uh, in tennis games, it's a bit hard to make interesting, to be honest with you. They look very similar. Whoops. I'll try and do some various shots. Oh, I should have won that. Good. Good smash by me. So that's good then. 15-30. At least I've got a point. If you uh, serve... Oh, dear. If you serve out a play twice, then uh, it's a double fault. You do have some control over the, bo uh, the ball by going left and right in the directions before pressing fire button. But it's all in the time in this one. Oh dear, and I am getting beaten quite easily. Now, if you had this one back in the day, uh, let me know. We'll probably have a couple of games on this. I'm the only one here, so I can't play doubles, anything like that. I'm up the top there, if you didn't realise. Come on, Nicky, right. So at least I'm hitting it back. Oh no, good. Oh, is that out? Oh, I don't think it was. No ball boys or ball girl. Oh, there's a ball girl down the side. I don't think they run across and get the ball, though. I don't think. We'll soon find out. So if he's into tennis, there's quite a few tennis games to choose from back in the day on the Mega Drive. Uh, there's Andre Agassi's tennis. There's a Wimbledon one. So we'll eventually we'll come to those, I'm sure, as the years go past and the decades. If I'm still here, which I'm sure I will be. Right, let's go. So games this week, uh, haven't been quite so many reviews this week as other weeks, apologies for that, a lot's been going on on the job front for me. Um, the channel had just had a five month uh, tester, full time tester, fortunately economics, can't do that consistently. So thank you everyone that supported there but it just wasn't possible, which I thought was a bit of a long shot. But anyway, uh, we'll just go part time again. Still lots of fun to have, still lots of fun to have. Oops, fault. How am I doing here? Not very well. So this, we won't be winning the whole championship or anything like that. It isn't about going up the uh, the grades to be number one C because you start number one. Could get a bit more interest there by designing your own character, as I said. So you won't get Serena or Venus Williams in this because they wasn't around at this sort of time. It's it's uh, Jennifer Capriati, which I sort of had a, a schoolboy crush on back in the day. She was a, a new, young a tennis player up and coming. She beat the great Martina Navratilova in the quarter-final of Wimbledon one year. Uh, and I think she had her own problems as well. Did she get done for shoplifting? Or was that Winoda Ryder? Anyway, I might get them mixed up. Maybe they both went out together in a sort of like competition, like on The Apprentice, to see how much they could steal. Um, uh, citation needed there. Now, depending on what court you pl play on, Excuse me, depending on what court you play on, this is the hard court indoors, the ball bounces harder and slower. If you did grass, it's um, got a lower bounce and it moves slightly quicker. There's three basic buttons to control this, uh, A, B and C, depending on what kind of shot you want to do. And you can angle your direction as well on the time you hit the fire button to get some sort of control. But it's a bit tricky and all the time you have to time it just right, as I didn't there, or else it's, it's doomed to. So there's a bit of skill to this one. It isn't just a, a knock around tennis game and hope for the best. It does reward people. He's done a lob there. You do that with the C button. It does reward people that uh, practice a lot to try and get the, the key um, strokes. 
me being me, this being my first go, I haven't really got time to practice them all to um, be an expert on them. It's all about would you have played this again as a kid? Um, I think I would have done if I didn't own any other tennis games, but there's quite a lot of other ones around there, so I think they would have all have blended into ones for me. But this is, I have to say, oh, good shot, Nick. I have to say, this is one of the better ones. 15 all. Can I get back and win the set? Well, I'm not sure about that. This is the worst player you can play in the game. Say, say lap, was it? Say gap from Street Fighter 2. No. Right. Come on. I think I'm winning the odd point, aren't I? But um, so it's promising if I kept playing it. Get that good. Lob. Oh, mistimed that. A, a, a beautiful lob. Then I could have won the point. So 15:40. As I say, that's got good. Sp oh, good. Great shot. That's my best shot of the review. 30-40. This is my best game. So that's got good speech in this one. Uh, it's not repetitive. Well, it is repetitive, but it seems to work okay. Oh, and I've lost through a double fault. So five games to love. This is a bit of a shocker. So if I don't win this game, then I've lost the set and the match. Come on. Time this right. Comes into the net. Oh, with a bit of a lob that hasn't worked. And I got smashed down the middle. Hmm. Right, a lob. Oh, I shouldn't do that. I just set myself up. Passing shot? No. Oh, this this opponent's really turning up the wick now. I'm in big bother, and that's not going to help no one. Match point. Oh, dear. Right, at least I'm making a bit of a fight of it at the end. Nice backhand. Should have come into the net there. Cross court. Good. In. Oh, into the net. And there's the celebrations there by that girl jumping up and down like a hoodlum. I think we'll just have one last goal. A quick goal, six, but we've seen all the gameplay really. I got big six games to love, which wasn't that impressive. Telling at Japan, 1992, let's go on the circuit. As I say, there's a training mode as well, so if you want to do this long term, uh, then uh, possibly do the training first of all. So here's the tournament. It's the Sydney Open, which I think is indoors again, so sorry about that. And we're playing Monica Seles. She's got blonde hair, as you can see at the top. Or is it Ken again from Street Fighter 2? Vault. Now, you do control your serve. So if you press the fire button too early, it will go massively out of play. Press it too late, it will knock into the net. So some skill there also. Uh, Monica Sellers is a bit better than the last opponent that beat me six games to love. So uh, it's more than likely I'm going to get beat six games to love again. But at least we've seen um, how this game plays. If you uh, was an expert of it back in the day, let me know. Once you get in the swing of things, is it impossible to lose? I think Pro Tennis Championship, which I haven't reviewed on the Commodore Amiga, which I own, uh, was uh, a bit like that back in the day. Got a load of, I seem to remember to load that game. There's a load of code sheets. So perhaps that's why I haven't reviewed it. Couldn't get it to work, maybe. But that was a good one, too. I'd say that one was better than this one. This is Mega Drive. Oh, dear. It's Monica. Now, if um, you bought this back in the day and was a tennis fan, I think you would have been impressed with it. But no real reason to own more than one tennis game, I don't think. Great shot, Nick. 15-0. Can I break serve? Fault. A nice double fault, please, Monica Shelles. Into the net again. No, good serve by her. Oh, returned that a bit too good that time. Bit too much of the direction there. Should have just done... Cool, look at that serve. It's an ace. Yeah, I, I, I'm not confident here. Oh, I got aced again. Boo. It's like two games to love. I'm getting a little bit of deja vu here. Right. Time this. Good. Oh, poor serve. Needed more strength on there, and she returned it with ease. See, that's the gamble, really. Going for a quick serve, it's more than likely you'll hit it into the net. That was a good serve. Stay on the baseline. Get your timings right, and come in when the player is most vulnerable. Oh, no. I think I need to be playing this with two human players, really, where we're both rubbish, uh, to make it a bit more exciting, but... You have to win by two games clear. Double fault's not going to help. If you, um, I think it goes to a tie break eventually. Well, it won't do here because we haven't lost a game. Gives you your stats as well. Tells you uh, what percentage of your first serves are in. What uh, percentage of your second serves are in. 15, love. Seems like a good job being an umpire, doesn't it? 30, love. I knew he was going to say that. Hello, love. Right. Woo. 
Excellent. Now, the next Sega Mega Drive game I review, I've got um, keyed up to do Ayrton Senna's Super Monaco Grand Prix, if I can get that to work. Uh, played that on the Amiga. Um, I'm aware of it in the arcade, so that's going to be an interesting one as well. We'll try and get that up probably Monday, I hope. I say hope, because it's very, very busy times. Busy times. Right, okay. Boof. As I said, did try to do the channel full time to give you as much as I possibly can. I uh, gave it everything I possibly could, but uh, financially it's not possible, which I sort of like suspected. But uh, rather than sit at my desk for 10 years wondering what would have happened, I, I went for it. And so, you know, you've got to try these things, although it was an incredibly risky uh, strategy. Who knows, in the future it might become possible, but I won't hold my breath. But with your support, uh, sharing the videos on different platforms, commenting and spreading the word, you never know, it might actually happen. More chance than me actually winning this set anyway, one would say. Boom. Right, okay. 30, love. It's going to be match point here in a minute. Oh, fault, fault. Fold. Oh dear, 40 love. So, three match points to Monica Sellers, and then we'll probably call it the end of the day. I, looks like I'm going to get beaten six love, six love. Yeah, six love, six love. Oh dear. Do your celebration then, Monica. There she goes. Well, you know, I think we'll leave that one there. I hope you liked having a look at it. I didn't mind it. It's quite a solid tennis game. It rewards practice. I was hopeless at it, but, you know... Um, that's not to say if I put in the practice, um, I would get a lot better. So, yeah, that was Jennifer Capriati Tennis, published by Telenet Japan in 1992. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. Massive thank you to everyone that subscribes to the channel so far and sharing it uh, on media platforms, Facebook and wherever, so thank you there. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fun. Goodbye. Goodbye.